in our previous video already you saw the power of database and you already also saw the typical advantage and why we should use uh, the oracle or more maybe the sql database in p6 that typically the database and i was discussing about the pmdb as well the project management database and in this particular session we'll be deep drive by driving the architecture and where we'll be looking into its component and the real uh, scenario and most of the people they directly deep drive into the tools and all because fundamentally understanding this will assist you will help you in your future career portfolio to exactly understand the advanced feature you can say so oracle primavera p6 enterprise project portfolio management this particular platform is a java 2 platform the java 2 platform this is very important if you can see the java 2 platform this is the first thing which i want to add to your dictionary enterprise edition or you can say j2 double e enterprise edition or j2 you might have heard about this j2 java 2 second generation that particular and this is uh, in fact acquired by oracle corporation and this is basically a web application the j2 double e platform consists for a set of industry standard services and apis and protocols that provides the functionality for developing multi-tiered web-based enterprise applications and the division of tiers enable the application to scale according to clients performance demands and oracle primavera p6 enterprise project portfolio management uses the j2 e specification to build a flexible and scalable cross platform solution this is very important to keep all these thing in right perspective if you can see uh, here clearly you have one presentation tier that is the p6 web a middle tier that is the server and there is a data tier that is your sql or maybe oracle database whatever the database you talk about because the database is the central location so let us deep drive to this particular concept and let us look at the presentation tier first and when you talk about the presentation tier here what exactly we mean a web based server layer rendering gsp javascript applets etc to present a feature rich user experience or ui accessible or gui which you can say accessible through various supported browsers so this presentation tier is typically a web based protocol which directly can route or the application can be moved from your desktop and through the www dot protocol what you can do is whatever the website dot the extension you can directly browse it so this particular presentation tier facilitates the web based accessibility and very important tier is the middle tier and if you want to understand this middle tier you need to understand the j 2 w application server concept and this server concept is the location where you basically seamlessly connect all your other remote connected independent client locations or client system where you need to access and store your data and that server forms the middle tier where all the business logic of oracle primavera p6 enterprise project portfolio that particular concept management is implemented here you store all the logic for example right access or maybe 
the opening access or maybe your sharing access everything you cannot share if you are not authorized and also the schema inside your company the different departments the department a department b department c how all this data are stored and who all are authorized to access this folder and all the structure or you can say the architecture you need to map to this middle tier so it is so important and this layer runs the business logic for both the PSIC web application or your desktop application, PSIC services, whatever. And the final one, the very important is the data tier. And here you have to understand very clearly because we are well conversant with file system. So maybe the document DOC, maybe the DWG, or maybe the engineering different software you have used, or maybe the Excel, whatever the, if you have used the uh, most uh, used uh, software the project planning software for small companies the ms project there also see the file structure but here the data tier is very important the data tier consists of a standalone or you can say a clustered re relational database management system or you can say rd b MS relationship based database management system so this relationship is very important the data tier which can be used when you update or if you need to change the revision or whatever the maybe the access protocol and this environment utilizing the Java database connectivity or you can say JDBC or this particular tier is using JDBC the Java's database connectivity system to integrate with the middle tier system. So this middle tier we have to connect because here we store all the logics, all the typical systems which your enterprise is looking at and that it depends on and the data tier comply with that. And if you look at this previous, this particular picture, where what I discussed the presentation tier, middle tier and the data tier here you can directly see the reporting database consists of all these three tiers and seamlessly it connects and retrieve the data and then only you can say that your EPPM or maybe desktop base P6 that can be integrated and where the fundamental concept is the same the oracle primavera p6 enterprise portfolio management application resides on an application server and the respiratory of the application data resides on the database server and that you can clearly see in this particular figure and to precisely understand the typical oracle primavera p6 enterprise project portfolio management deployments consist of different components and that component also you need to understand clearly the first thing is a clustered web server load that balancing you need to do using a load balance router or software solution or maybe various other uh, system which you can adopt and administrators they do and they interact with primary p6 through web server this is the one part and second part is your middle tier that is the servers uh, the logic or whatever you say uh, the typical uh, your enterprise uh, solutions portfolio a clustered j 2 e application server on which oracle primary p6 enterprise project portfolio management is deployed there you basically deploy over the server and finally the oracle primary p6 enterprise project portfolio management uses a rtbms which i discussed already adjusts data respiratory and depending on the data set size maybe 1 GB maybe 100 GB maybe 10 terabyte that depends so you cannot use the same system for each and every companies so that typically the server can be standalone or clustered server if it is assessing or handling large data you can have a clustered and in that case you can use a more sophisticated architecture and the database could be more complex 
and they are the backup system and everything could be more complex as well and these are the typical you know the understanding about the portfolios and how you can understand the performance and scalability consideration and if you look into that the the level of performance which we are looking from this system the availability requirement the short term and long term outlook of system usage and seasonality and frequency which applications are used and different load of the users that all you can use for scaling the system as well so different other portfolio like hardware requirement you can have is 32 bit of architecture a 64 bit of hardware requirement and operating system and operating system primarily uh, which you are using the window based or linux based that also purely you need to decide as a part of your server portfolio and other different uh, points uh, that i don't want to include here because as a part of uh, your portfolio this much uh, information will be enough and uh, we can discuss more and if you have a customized requirement definitely we can deliver that as well